So you want to buy a home. Is the home in an HOA? Is an HOA good or bad? Today we explore the pros and cons of HOAs. Let's do it. Good to see you again. John McCoy here with Keller Williams Realty, Chattahoochee North, and I'm a realtor here in Duluth, Georgia in the metro Atlanta area. HOAs, HOAs, HOAs. What can I say? HOAs, if you're not familiar with them, stands for Homeowners Association. A Homeowners Association is an association that is in place to regulate the rules for certain neighborhoods. Now, not all neighborhoods have HOAs, and there are some neighborhoods where an HOA was formed after the neighborhood was built. In this case, some of the homes are in the HOA, while other homes are not. So now that we have that info, let's dive into HOA's pros and cons. I'll start with the biggest pro of an HOA is really the purpose of the HOA, which is to maintain the value of a neighborhood. The rules and covenants of an HOA are supposed to be put in place to keep the neighborhood looking good. When all the homes are looking good in a neighborhood, then the value of that neighborhood can be maintained. Let's face it, you didn't just pay a bunch of money for a house just to see it decline in value because your neighbors don't want to take care of their property. We've all seen homes in a neighborhood where you say, I am sure glad I don't live next to that home. Well, imagine you live next to that home and you're trying to sell your home. That is not a fun scenario to think about. Con of an HOA is actually related to its pro. You can't just do anything you want to the outside of your home when you live in an HOA. Let's say, for instance, you want a fenced backyard. Well, if you're in an HOA, you have to ask permission to do just about anything you want to do to the outside of your property, and that includes putting up a fence. If the HOA doesn't allow fences, well, you're not going to be able to put up a fence. If they do allow fences, then the HOA will tell you what type of fence is allowed. The freedom to do whatever you would like to the outside of your house and to your property is limited. Whether it's putting up a basketball goal, parking in the street, or even parking in your driveway, HOAs have many rules in place for all of these things and more. Make sure you get the covenants and rules for the neighborhood that you want to move into before you buy a home that has an HOA. Second pro of an HOA is actually deals with the previous con. You won't have to worry about your neighbor painting their house bright pink. I've got nothing against bright pink, but most people don't want to live next to a home that is bright pink. The HOA also makes sure that everyone maintains their yards. Living next to this yard can be an eyesore every day. The next drawback of an HOA is that if you accidentally do something that the HOA doesn't agree with, like resurfacing your driveway without consulting them first, well, then they can make you redo it or even remove it. And if you don't, then they can give you fines until you do. If you don't pay the fines, they can actually put a lien against your property. So basically, the HOA can make your life hell. HOAs kind of remind me of the IRS, but for your neighborhood. On to another pro. If an HOA is run right and with compassion, HOAs can be really fun. HOAs can be the launching point for active neighborhoods that do cookouts, throw pool parties, and have really great social times with your neighbors. On to another drawback with an HOA. You can go from having a great HOA to a lousy HOA really quickly. The HOA has officers that are neighbors with a president, vice president, etc. Well, if one or more of these members moves, then someone new will take their place. That new person can be someone amazing or they could be the biggest pain in the rear ever. Sometimes neighbors in HOAs have nothing better to do than to go around to each neighbor and try to figure out how you're violating the covenants. My favorite person in the neighborhood is the one who constantly watches everyone's garbage cans. And if the garbage is supposed to be out of sight by 7 p.m. on garbage day and at 7.01, you will have your pictures taken of your violation 
that are sent to the president of the HOA, the vice president, put on social media, and possibly reported to the Wall Street Journal and Newsweek. Don't be that person. I both love and hate HOAs. Some HOAs are great, laid back, and only doing what they need to do to maintain a good looking neighborhood. Others have people in them that didn't get enough attention or hugs from their parents when they were kids and are now looking to make everyone else's life miserable. While on one hand, I like the idea of maintaining my home's value because I don't want my neighbor to have a polka dot house with vines coming down and six foot weeds growing in its front yard. On the other hand, I like to have the freedom to do what I want to do with my house. I paid hundreds of thousands of dollars for it and I want that freedom. When buying a home, you need to figure out what you can handle with being in an HOA. I can't stress enough for asking for the covenants and rules for an HOA neighborhood to see what is in writing. I also encourage all buyers to talk with neighbors about the HOA. Find out about how well the HOA is run, but know that it can change over time for better or for worse. Well, that was a quick breakdown of HOA pros and cons. If you're currently looking to buy a home, you may want to check out this video about buying a house. And if you are selling, this one may be helpful as well. If you like this video, you should click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. I post every Thursday videos like this along with living in Duluth, Georgia and the metro Atlanta area. I will see you next time.